Welcome back to another video guys. So in this video I want to introduce you to pathfinding. So I'm going to go through a few solutions we could use as a pathfinding method. So pathfinding creates a path for a unit to walk from one point to another and the good ones, okay, kind of like avoid obstacles and moves around them as they're moving and updates and stuff. So that's our pathfinding. Um, I've dragged a cube I've stretched it out in the scene because by the end of this video I'm gonna get a unit and make it walk around this wall as an example of a pathfinding solution and you might wonder well what what can we do to actually make this because there are a lot of solutions out there so it might surprise you to know that Unity Pro have their own navigation pathfinding system built into to it but I'm not going to use that in my future videos because some of you guys might not have it and uh, I think there's a better solution out there and it's totally free the solution I'm going to use so you guys can follow along in the future so I'm just going to quickly go through the Unity Pro version so if I go to window navigation there's um, a new window that we can control uh, how to bake the navigation mesh onto our terrain so a navigation mesh is just an area our units can walk on and you can bake multiple navigation meshes and you can also create off mesh links as well to link one mesh to another mesh so your units know where to go and stuff so I can select my terrain for example and say yep it's going to be static and it generates uh, off mesh links and we can assign a layer to it and then we can bake it. So before we bake it, we can, you know, generate the um, the height. We can control the slope because that's really important in in terrains because we don't want our units to walk up a really steep mountain and stuff like the step height in case we're going upstairs and things like that. Okay, so it's it's quite good. There's quite a good solution if you want to use Unity Pro. But like I said, I think there's a better solution out there and a totally free one, which I'll be using in my videos. Okay, guys. So if we wanted to set up the Unity Pro one up, we can click Bake, and on every single one of our units, we add a component called if I go to Component Navigation, uh, a Nav Mesh Agent because the agent refers to the navigation mesh. And within this, we can do stuff like control the unit speed, the acceleration, and things like that. So it's relatively simple to do. So a drag and drop thing, really, and configure the options, and then you're done. And then we can control the objects through coding it and stuff. So that's the Unity Pro solution, but I'm going to stay away from that, like I said. Okay, so what other solutions are there? Well, you might see some scripts in the asset store you can buy, and I wouldn't recommend buying them from the asset store because... Um, the script I'm going to use is the, called the A-Star Pathfinding Projects and this guy called Aaron Granberg uh, has made this or a team of his, well his team has made it or, and uh, you can find it on this website um, it's called the A-Star Pathfinding Projects, you can download it for free there's a pro version and the pro version contains quite a lot of things that Unity Pro doesn't have and a competitor doesn't have so it contains all of these things but he's probably created this list just to make his script look a lot better than the competition but I think it is so there's a lot of features there's different types of graphs we can do a grid graph a like a point graph where it just has points around the objects you want to avoid and there's also the navigation mesh which is similar to the unity pro feature and there's also other stuff like local avoidance so you can avoid your other units around you and multiple platforms stuff like that so I'll download this, download it for free, and I'd rather download this than create my own system because this this team of people are always going to work on this. They're going to improve it. They want to keep up with Unity's implementation and stuff. So, just for flexibility and stuff, I'd use this rather than create your own project. But if you do want to create your own project, guys, you need to learn the A star algorithm because. The A star algorithm, I'm going to hop over to you to Wikipedia, is the algorithm used for the majority, of, if not all, of the pathfinding uh, solutions out there. And the A star pathfinding project is a way to refer to points on a graph to find the, the fastest point to a target. Okay, so this is how this is how it's working basically. It's going through the the points in the graph and finding the nearest or the the fastest path. All right, but it's not as simple as that. Um, there's some really good videos on YouTube about the A star path, uh, the A star algorithm. Um, they've kind of summarised it here and on how it works. It's relatively simple once you understand it. Okay, so I recommend going to YouTube and finding out how it works if you want to create your own system. Okay, so the the A star 
algorithm is key to, to creating a pathfinding solution. Um, once you understand that, you can create your own system. So um, I'll probably do an, a video on how A star works in the future. So, but for this, um, for the next few videos in our strategy game, I'll be using this script. So uh, I've imported the package, and the package includes examples and prefabs we could use in our scene and that. But um, I'm just going to explain how it works. So we create a new object. I've called it A star, and we attach a A star path script to it. And this is the script where we can configure our graph. So I've I've created a grid graph. It's covered the whole terrain, and I can configure the amount of nodes. I can configure the the size of the nodes, the aspect ratio, and the center, and basically the position of the graph. We can do stuff like manage the connections. We can do four connections or eight. When we click eight, the unit can move diagonally through each of the points in the graph. And we can also configure the slope and the climb axis and stuff and probably the climb and yeah. So basically the things that the Unity Pro feature has, as well as collision testing. So I'm I'm collecting I'm testing for collisions with my units and the obstacles. Okay guys, just the layers I've configured. And we can also do height testing. So what happens is the ray casts are created, in this case, a thousand units above the the graph it, the grid itself and then they're they're cast downwards with a thousand units and when they hit the terrain that point is stored and that's how the graph is generated okay hopping back to this now so that's as simple as it gets really for creating your grid graph um, and there's a bunch of things you can do here the optimizations for the pro version and the the paid version and when we're done we can click scan so once we've scanned it the, the graph is created and as you can see, it's avoided the units and it avoided the um, the obstacle that's in the way. And it works this out by creating a, an object it tests collisions with. In this case, I've created a capsule and the diameter is four units, which is why there's a gap between the obstacle and where we can walk. Okay, so that's based on the capsule I've just created or configured here. And that's how we do it. So. Once we've created our grid, we can then hop to our unit and attach what we call a seeker script. So here's my unit. If we go to the component, there's a new menu here called pathfinding and then we can attach the seeker to it. And then we can configure a bunch of stuff like the priority and the point and the start point and the end point. We can say we want it to snap to the node or closest on the load and stuff, but um or the original the original point anyway. And that's how the seeker works. So we need to have a seeker on every single unit, okay guys? But for this example, I'm going to use the bot prefab that's provided with the script. So let's activate the children and stuff. So here's the seeker script and uh they've also attached another script called mindbot AI. And all I've done here is drag a game object called target or it's its target position, which is just here. So when I play the game, I'm expecting this little guy here to walk around here to the target or a faster solution would probably be here if he fits in okay. So let's just play the game see what happens. So I'm going to hop back to the scene view and as you can see he's moving. The script has generated the fastest path to the object and uh, he's walking around the obstacle. Okay guys, so it's as simple as that. If you download the A-Star Pathfinding project, it will work pretty well. And by the way, I don't know this guy. I'm not trying to promote his products or anything. I just think this is the best solution available at this current time. So this guy will take quite a while to walk around that, but I hope you get the point here. All we need to do is create a game object and generate the grid or the graph. We can also generate a navigation mesh or a point graph. and um, Every unit has a seeker script, okay guys? So that's the simplest things get. We can we can also obviously do a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna get through that in the next few videos. But um, this is how we do the pathfinding in Unity and it's really good. And we can connect grids together and stuff and decent stuff like that. So I'm gonna leave it here guys. I hope you now have a decent um, understanding of how pathfinding works if you want to create your own solution because I know some people love to do that you know do everything from scratch learn the A star algorithm okay so GPS uses this a bunch of other applications use A star algorithm it's one of the most um, efficient ways of, of uh, finding a path okay 
So that's all I wanted to touch on on this video. So I hopefully see you in the next video, guys, where we can continue building our strategy game. So thanks for watching.